Hello, my name is Kusum Lata. I'm an interventional cardiologist. I work for Sutter Health at Tracy. Today, I'm talking to all of you on behalf of American Heart Association Women Go Red campaign in the breakout session. We are going to discuss about some of the aspect of cardiovascular illness and how this has been impacted by the COVID-19 situations. The COVID-19 pandemic has made us feel overwhelmed due to healthcare crisis, long working hours, and taking care of your friends and families. This disastrous situation and its effect on mental and physical health enforced us to think more towards self-care apart from taking care of others. It is normal to feel overwhelmed and stressed during uncertain times. Taking care of yourself is important so that you are prepared to take care of your friends, families, patients, and in general community. COVID-19 pandemic has put enormous strain on the healthcare, healthcare workers, and in general populations. People are tired of everything what has happened in the last couple of years. Even people who used to focus on the healthcare have lost their rhythm. Since the onset of COVID-19 pandemic, deaths from the heart disease and stroke have increased significantly. One in five people have reported lower physical wellness. One in three people have reported lower emotional wellness. Even the mild cases of COVID-19 have impacted heart and brain health significantly. It's time to reclaim your rhythm and take back control of your physical and mental health. American Heart Association being leader in the healthcare is helping people to create a healthy lifestyle that works best for them to give them the best chance to get back to their normal life. As an interventional cardiologist, I am very busy, but I know how important it is to take care of yourself and take care of your heart. One of the biggest challenge is finding time for the self-care. Some way I try to find time for this important activity so that I can care for myself and take care of my stress. Here are a few tips for a healthy lifestyle. Eat sensible, eat healthy, and drink plenty of water. Maintain your sleep hygiene and sleep well. Avoid excessive alcohol, drugs, and a stagnant lifestyle. Walk in fresh air. Spend time with yourself and your thought. Keep in touch with the friends and families. Spend time with the people you like, you can talk, and you can laugh. Avoid excessive and prolonged social media discussion or the chat. Keep your thoughts positive. Stick to your personal beliefs and support. Work for your community. Read books. Listen to music. Avoid unnecessary, exaggerated social media news, which makes you feel anxious, nervous, or overwhelmed, but has no effect on your personal or professional life. Prevention is the key. Pay extra attention if you have high-risk features or high-risk factors like high blood pressure, diabetes, high cholesterol, history of prior heart disease, prior stroke, then you pay extra attention to your risk factors and manage them. Some of the ethnicity like black and Hispanic women are disproportionately at higher risk for the complications related from heart disease and stroke. Myths about cardiovascular illness and stroke being illness of old age is not true at all. Cardiovascular illness is on rise in younger women so it's important to discuss the risk factors and prevent it early on in life. Younger generation women are oblivious about this greatest health threat. That is why American Heart Association Go Red for Women encourages women to take charge of their own health and work towards the prevention. Even losing a single woman from cardiovascular illness is a lot. Me, you and we can do it together.